thrown up. Nice catch. The tight end, J.J. Watt. Good run after the catch. And Central Michigan is knocking on the door. They have started to get the tight ends involved more and more in the Central Michigan passing game. And the true freshman, J.J. Watt, makes the play here. Trying to get within one score. Lefevre over the middle and a first down catch at the 23 yard line by true freshman tight end J.J. Watt. That's only his eighth, his eighth catch of the year, but it's good enough for a Central Michigan first down. And he's known as a good run blocker. Kind of came in just seven receptions on the year. First and ten for Northern Illinois. Nothing there. This is what you want your defensive ends to look like. J.J. Watt is 6'6", about 290. Three receivers, top of your screen, one to the bottom. Harnish on a quarterback draw, but they weren't buying it up the middle. Oh, what a great play made by J.J. Watt. Third down and short. Harnish to the air. Well, oh, that was a wobbly pass. Penalty marker down. There you go. Play is under review. Good call, make sure you get it right. First down at the 31-yard line of Wisconsin. Harnish. J.J. Watt. He's used to say to have a party at the quarterback, and that's exactly what Wisconsin's been doing. Look at the convergence there. Is it possible that they beat themselves up by playing this tough non-conference schedule? Well, I think that's part of it also. Tenth play of the drive, and that pass deflected again. And nearly intercepted. He uses much speed. That's J.J. Watt on the outside doing a nice job. If, you're not, if you can't get there. Kirk Cousins coming off an interception. Only a second of the season. This is the best starting field position for the Spartans. But on first down, Ray hit in the backfield by J.J. Watt. First and ten at the 11. And Leon Eskridge barely gets back to the 11. Second and ten. And Brandon Fain is stuck back of the 20. Former NFL All-Pro wide receiver and Buckeye great. Fire the pump fake and that pass is incomplete. Probably the one thing he wasn't too happy about shouldn't be with his offensive line because he's getting pressure again. That's a second play in a row. Northwestern actually technically runs a little bit more than they pass. But they set up everything with a pass. Kafka unable to get loose, and that was J.J. Watt. Loss of four. Good feet and even better strength. Look at him disengage the lineman and able to. Third downs, take a look at it. Northwestern's had it rolling. They don't get it here. Great penetration up front. James gets the call on the stretch in Wisconsin with a great defensive play by J.J. Watts. And Watts gets great penetration. He beats the tight end and the tackle. Orlando Franklin gets right into the backfield to get to the legs of Javaris James. Just an outstanding play. Last time they started at the eight and were forced. The short punt led to that Wisconsin scoring drive. Ja'Cory Harris saw play action as it batted down. J.J. Watts made a couple nice plays in his first quarter so far. Possibly the play of the game for Miami. DeCorey Harris batted down by J.J. Watt. Boy, J.J.'s had that 6'6", 287-pound frame in the way all night, it seems like. For loss behind the line of scrimmage, the highest combination of any pair in the country. This game is far from being over, only down 10. Harris on first down. Wanted to go deep, ball is out. Wisconsin's got it. And it's J.J. Watt. Been a great tandem tonight. Here's Schofield coming for the sack. Staley's there also. The ball comes out right at the feet of J.J. Watt. And he says, I guess I'll fall on him. Look at this crowd. They're just both sides in shock right now. Harris flushed out of the pocket and drops by J.J. Watt. And higher. You're 100% you're, you're right. Here comes third down and nine for Terrell now. And he's sacked. Sacked back at the 29-yard line. Transferred back, walked on, and here he is. And the right tackle, J.B. Shugart's just whipped 
On third down and long, Shugarts just misses Watt. You gotta expect an outside move. Shugarts is surprised. So not a lot of success downfield tonight for Pryor. Heemer moves in at defensive tackle, and there is Watt again. And the left side, J.J. Watt just gets to the inside of the sophomore, the tight end, Fragle, just gets out of the, look at that. That's a, that's a man against boys against the tight end. Fire short of the first down, J.J. Watt. Did he makes this play. They move him to the middle, Brent. He's a defensive end. Going down again, J.J. Watt. Well, now they move him to the outside, and he just manhandles Mike Adams, gives him a move, and works to the inside. You talk about a combination of skills. The power. The true freshman walk-on kicker, Mike Meyer, for the extra point. And it is no good. Looked like J.J. Watt deflected it at the line of scrimmage. Plenty of time to throw. Good protection. There's the four-man rush, and they put pressure on Stanzi, who's tripped up by J.J. Watt. Back at the 38, out. you have to take use one of your out. timeouts now, and they do. And it looked like they rushed four initially and still got to him. That's yeah, just a four man rush. And again it was good protection. That thing came because of the of the uh, coverage down the field. Again empty and out the backfield. Let's go. Deflected. Incomplete. And that was J.J. Watt making his first impact of this game. Option Dalton. Pitches it back to the running back Tucker. And the Badgers jump it. Right here. They're going to option him. He's going to slow play it and then eventually make the play after the pitch. It's a great job of playing the quarterback and then coming off of the quarterback and still having the speed out in space 